Happy holidays, Hornets. As we wind down the fall 2020 semester, I'd like to take a moment to reflect on how far we've come throughout the last year. And thank you for doing your best, even when the world turned upside down. At this time last year, we had no idea what 2020 had in store for us. The quad was filled with annual activities such as Dia de los Muertos and Transfer Week. Our theater arts department produced the West Coast premiere of the new Scarlet Letter. We launched the OCTA Students Ride Free campaign and our women's water polo team became state champions again. Teaching and learning filled the buildings all around me. These all feel like distant memories, but they're examples of what make our Fullerton College DNA. It is in this DNA rooted in 1913 by many Hornets who came before us that gives us the perseverance to rise up and navigate through this difficult time because we're Hornets who lift each other up. The past nine months have not been easy and I'm so grateful to our campus community for pivoting our learning and student services online. This was no small feat. Mountains were moved in a matter of days. Our academic computing technologies team worked around the clock to provide the technology infrastructure we needed. Hundreds of faculty who had never taught before online learned the basics of online teaching and got started. More than 800 instructors are prepared to teach online. Our students rose to the occasion with patience and grace to adapt quickly. We learned a new vocabulary. Zoom became a verb and a location. Our children and pets became Zoom bombers as we fought back Zoom fatigue. We learned to be a community when we cannot be together. It took innovation to support our students. Our food bank transitioned into the healthy Hornets drive-through. When we closed our computer labs, we provided laptops and free Wi-Fi in parking lot four. Our financial aid office issued more than $5 million in CARES Act grants and emergency grants to students. When the federal funding left out our undocumented students, our values of fairness and equity drove us to repurpose state funds to provide the same level of support to our undocumented students. Grading policies were changed to give our students more options and safety nets at a time when the world felt unsafe. Students, I'm so proud of your hard work and determination. This is not the college experience you had in mind, and we are here for you for the long haul. For the limited number of classes we're able to offer in person, many safety precautions are being taken, and our online classes continue to offer rigorous and fulfilling coursework. Faculty have found new ways to teach, and you have found new ways to learn. Our class of 2020 graduates have not had the party they deserve, but we tried our best to send the party to them with Buzzy Bundle graduation care packages, and they shared their joy and pride with us on social media. And we cannot forget our youngest graduate, Jack Rico, who at age 13 broke the internet by making national and international headlines over the course of a week. I hold on to this joy, but I know now it came just before our next 2020 crisis. When George Floyd was murdered, our community, separated by distance, still came together in digital spaces, in hurt and outrage, and we demanded a better, safer world for our black students and colleagues. Many of our colleagues and students marched, and it was time to examine our college and our community and become an anti-racist organization by committing ourselves to dismantling systems of racism and inequity. This is not going to happen overnight, but I believe we're on the right track. Yeah, it's been a lot, but we will still keep moving forward. While many of us are being asked to do our work without leaving our home, Fullerton College's essential on-site workers have not skipped a beat. Our colleagues from Campus Safety, Maintenance and Operations, ACT, our Health Center, the Bookstore, Child Care and Lab School, the Mailroom, and the Instructional Building Construction Team, and many others whose work can't be done from home, are pulling their weight, which no doubt feels heavier during this pandemic. I appreciate each of you, and our whole campus community joins me in thanking you for your service to our students. As we end 2020, I look optimistically to 2021. 
In all the ways we aren't perfect, we'll keep refining. In all the areas we excel, we'll share these stories and be proud. From my family to yours, I wish each of you, your family and friends, a safe and happy holiday season.